So the agent secured a uh, new construction one-shot policy for a single family dwelling. It was $415,000. So we had a hell event, as we hear these now more and more. The hail happened, it caused damage to the structure, and a claim was reported. The first thing the adjuster uh, uncovered was the address. You know, adjusters, when they get a claim, they have to look at the location address. It has to match the loss location that was reported. The application showed TBD with the name of the subdivision. There's no way an adjuster can match that. So they had to stop in their tracks and couldn't proceed until that address is changed. Well, in order to change the address, now since a loss has occurred, it requires a policy reformation request. Luckily, we were able to do that on this case. So now the adjuster gets to start their investigation. Water was able to penetrate through the roof and some of the windows and damage some of the walls. They find out the damage, well now they uncover something else new. Our application was submitted as not being started. Brand new construction from ground up. Uh, the adjuster uncovered it was 45% completed at the time before our policy was written. That's a problem. The form under property not covered has an existing inventory exclusion and that means any work done prior to our policy is not gonna be covered at all the adjuster was able to determine the roof and the windows that were done prior. Uh, they could not trigger coverage for that and now they're looking at getting the cost and the invoices to determine the damage on how much it was for the painting um, to get that fixed. And that ended up being under the deductible. Not only was the insured denied coverage for the windows and the roof, because now it's not eligible. Um, now they're being um, told that it's under their deductible, so they get no dollar amount on this claim. When you start these for new construction, ask your insured, okay, you said it hasn't started. Let me review this existing inventory because I just wanna make sure, because anything over 30% complete, any work performed prior to our policy will not be covered. So, so we haven't started, right? And just do a confirmation. Show them the existing inventory, make them initial it. Um, so you did read it to them. To properly do the percentage, um, you ask the insureds how much has been spent to date in cost, divide it in the total completed value, there's your percentage. That's exactly what claims is gonna use. If an agent finds that they do have a policy with, with no complete address on it, the agent needs to go ahead and find the exact information. Either the 911 address has already been assigned, get that put on, um, endorsed on, and if it still has not been assigned, at least go get the legal description. Get the lot, the block, the subdivision name, and get that endorsed before a claim occurs. If the agent just goes one more step further and starts reviewing some of the exclusions or limitations in our forms, I think it will go a long way. Maybe clients that, re, that are repeat clients, at least they understand the coverage forms and uh, when to tell the agent uh, when certain conditions apply that might have some limitations or exclusions that are involved. So it's always good to review those conditions and exclusions and limitations in the policy with your insurance. You know, they're, they're your partners and um, they're dependent on the agent to make sure that they're educated and understand what they're getting.